Hey everybody. Well, it's finally has happened. Uh, Jeff Sims enters a transfer portal. <laughs> and he didn't waste any time either. Uh, the day after, you know, the our season ends, uh, he go, he's gone, um, which a lot of people saw coming. Uh, I was kind of holding out hope that he would stay. <coughs> but I knew, too, that he, you know, was going to leave. <sighs> Just unfortunate. Uh, Jeff Sims has been the best quarterback Um you know, these past couple of years and just been really unable to stay healthy either this year or last year. I think his true freshman year in 2020, he was uh, healthy all of the year uh, in a shortened season. But um, it's just sad. I've always been a Jeff Sims fan. I've always been, you know, one of his biggest fans. I got his training card um, and signed training card. And I... <coughs> I I always defended him. A lot of people hated him, didn't like how he made, you know, mistakes and everything like that. And I thought that, you know, finally, once he got a quarterback's coach this year, that he ha had really improved uh, this year a lot. He made better decisions, better throws, you know, and um, turned the ball over a lot less when he was healthy this year. And unfortunately... <clears throat> He went down in the Duke game. He broke a bone in his foot. And then he was on an emergency basis throughout the entire year. And never he never came back. And a lot of people um, were getting very frustrated because we were down. The team was suffering. And we were down. And, you know, he was on the sideline dressed out. And uh, there was a situation in where... You know, he was down, our freaking true freshman quarterback comes in, he starts playing great, breaks his clavicle, and now we're looking back at Jeff Sims because we have no other options, and, you know, Jeff Sims is um, uh, <coughs> not coming in, and it really pissed a lot of people off. A lot of people called him a quitter. A lot of people, you know, defended him. Uh, his parents came on social media saying that he was... <clears throat> that he was just hurt and then he couldn't go in and play at his best because he had broke a bone in his foot. And for as for me, I didn't really comment that much on the matter because, you know, I respected Jeff Sims. I liked um, that he, you know, last year after Collins' horrible year, he stayed when everybody else left. I, I thought that was really great that he did that. Uh, for whatever reason, I mean, they put together an NIL deal for him, I think. And, you know, he might not have been exactly the best target. And so, but either, whatever it was, I I really uh, liked that he stayed when everybody else left. Um, as for now, I mean, it is what it is. Jeff Sims um, is one of the silent quitters on the team. And I'm not going to come on here and, like, and like come down on him and like a lot of people hate him they're leaving him mean comments on the on his uh twitter post that he said he was transferring i'm not gonna do that uh it just is what it is um he he silently quit on the team you could tell that you know brent key and the coaching staff were frustrated because <clears throat> they you know needed him to come in and he, he wouldn't or couldn't or whatever the situation is nobody truly knows uh, but from what it seems, uh, it seems like uh, he uh, he quit on the team because, you know, if it if it was just if it really was just an injury, um, then he would come back next year uh, better than ever, right? Because we are trending upwards as a team right now instead of downwards. Um, now that situation may be affected by our new coaching hire, which I will get to in a video once it's confirmed. Looks like it's going to be Willie Fritz, but that's for a separate video. Um, I'm just talking about Jeff Sims here, and it's sad to see him go because I was always a huge fan of his. Um, and I'm sad about the way it ended with him and that, you know, he just kind of stopped playing. Um, I wish him the best wherever he goes, but, you know, it, it does put a sour taste in my mouth. Uh, no point in freaking, no point in freaking coming down on him. <clears throat> I don't like doing that. I don't like getting on to players. 
and yelling and, and stuff like that because <laughs> a lot of times I see it. So Jeff Sims, if you're watching this, thanks for your service. Uh, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, could have been, it could, it could have been better this time of year. Uh, I always was a, a huge fan and defender of Jeff Sims, but uh, his time at Georgia Tech is over now. He'll probably go somewhere else and be really successful. He's a dual threat quarterback, and if he can get time, he's got two years of eligibility left. If he can get time under a quarterback's coach that knows what he's doing, knows how to coach up a kid, he could be very dangerous. And it could be a freaking situation like Jeff Sim, or Jameer Gibbs. Um, where he goes and balls out somewhere else. And that'll be sad, again, for me to see. Um, I get, you know, players... <coughs> I get players leaving last year because it was such a horrible place our program was in. But this year, at least our program is trending up. So hopefully Jeff Sims is, you know, hopefully this is the last video I have to make about a player transferring out. Hopefully it's just Jeff Sims because everybody kind of knew that he was going to leave rumor is he wanted to go to lsu last year um, who knows um but wherever he winds up going um good luck jeff sims so anyway go jackets stay tuned for the head coaching search update and i'll see you next time